Good day, good people. This is Phil and in this tutorial about PHP 7 or object-oriented programming, I'm going to talk to you about the toString method and the magic method clone as well as the keyword clone. So what is this all about? Well, the toString method, what does it do? It tells an object what to do when it is treated like a string. You will see in a minute how that works. It's very handy and it saves you a lot of work. And also the clone keyword, well, it clones an object. In this um, topic, we will have to be talking about the difference between by reference versus by value, because these are two highly different things. And with the keyword clone and also with the magic method clone, as you see in the third line, this comes very, becomes very important. All right, here we are. Let's get started. That's another topic. And let's start with the toString method. Okay, so we are in object oriented programming. And what this means is, no, not that, uh, that we need a class first in order to begin. So let's say this is the test class that we have here. And it stores a public variable named name. Okay. And well, first of all, we need a construct method. You'll see in a minute why. So public function. Well, in this case, the function obviously is a method and construct. We already talked about it. Uh, construct a method just means that this gets um, evaluated first. So whenever you create an object, this gets uh, searched and then evaluated. So you don't have to actually call the construct function. Okay. And obviously we're going ahead and we need to set net the name of the variable name every time that we create an object. Okay. So with the, this keyword, which will point to the variable name and we'll set it equal to the past variable name. Okay. So this references to this and the variable being passed here referenced here. Okay. Next, we go ahead and create the public function to string to string. So you see, it's a magic method because of the uh, two underscores here, just like the construct above. And this function, what happened here? Here we go. This function returns the name. Okay. That's all it does. So return this and point to the name above. That's all this function does. So we will see what this means. Now we will create a new variable or a new object. So why, why not call this one fill equals a new name. So I instantiate the class name, I make an object fill. And here, I pass the value. Okay, this is important, because the construct method, that's the first one that uh, gets done here, and it needs a parameter. So I will have to give something here. And here, I will give Philip. Okay. You can put whatever name you want, of course. And now, usually, I print out objects like this. Okay, let's do it and see what happens. I refresh here and I have an undefined variable name. Okay, here. Just saw this mistake. It's not a name, obviously, it's a class. So, a fatal error. I got an uncut error. The class name is not found. Well, <laughs> obviously, because the class's name is test. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So we have fill, which is a new object of the class test, and it passes the value fill, Philip. When we print this out, we have the information up here. So we got name, which is Philip. You see, I didn't have to call the construct method. It gets uh, done automatically. But what did the toString function do? Well, I will show you what it did. 
I can just go ahead and echo out fill. Usually this would not work, okay? I will show you in a minute, but no, I will show you before, okay? Let's comment out this function here and try to echo the object. It says object of class test could not be covered, converted to string. And that's what this function does. That's pretty much everything. It tells the object what to do when it gets echoed out. And now I got Philip, okay? That's the cool thing about this uh, two string magic method, which, um, well, converts into a string in case I echo out an object. That's all it does, okay? So if you wanna echo out objects, that's what you should do. Create a public function to string and return, well, whatever you want it to be returned. What is by reference versus by value? I will show you. So we create two variables, var1, which equals two, and var2, sorry, var2, which gets set to three, okay? var1 gets set to two, var2 gets set to three. Now, if I want to copy var1, I can just go ahead and put var2 get set to var1. And what this is, is by value, okay? Now variable two will get set to the var value of variable one. And this means by value. Let's echo out those two and uh, put in a break here. Copy that, paste that, and now you will see variable one and two, and they both have stored a value two because, well, variable two just copied the value of variable one. So now if I go ahead and I increment, for example, variable one before printing it out, I obviously will have variable one is three, and variable two still is two, okay? So whatever I do, both those variables don't point to the same, um, to the same memory space, okay? So imagine variable one is stored somewhere on the left and variable two makes a copy of this, but gets stored on the right. So now I can change variable two and variable one independently and it doesn't have an effect on the other variable. All right, this is important because variable one, it points to something else than variable two. They both point to different memory spaces. And that is exactly the difference to reference, okay? So, but if I, if I go ahead here and I put this, and this is basically all I have to do, to copy by reference, then it means that variable two points to the same spa memory space like variable one, which means if I increment variable one and then I echo variable two, it gets changed to three as well. And this is important. Now, every time I change one of these variables, well, obviously the other one changes too. And this is what by reference means. They point to the same memory space. And thus, if I change one, I change the other one as well. So Let us go ahead and create a new object, okay? From this class, obviously. So 
we will call this one first project equals new we'll put the dollar sign obviously and this is a new project and also we will set the description just to show you differences here so first project then our pointer which sets to set title and between the parentheses we call it this is the first one done next step is we make a copy of this first project we create something named second project and set it to the value of the first project now before i show in the other example i showed you this would make a copy of this one and now i could change both of these independently that's how it was handled with variables okay i could change them independently and it wouldn't affect the other one let's see if this is the same for objects here now we go ahead and uh, change the description of the second project and see what it does to the first project so set title and we go ahead and just set it to i am second now we go ahead and print out the get title function of the first project first project pointing to get title semicolon and boom so what happened here I, this is exactly what i was talking about before we uh, just created a copy of the first project and call it second project and when we change something well when we change the set title function in the second project it and printed out the first project we saw that this obviously was copied by reference so we changed the um, this property of the first variable as well of the first object as well okay this is quite interesting and when you don't want this behavior this is when the clone keyword comes in handy let's see how that works where well, we leave this we have the first project then we set the same description here uh, for the same title and now we don't just um, put the equal sign here but we go ahead and say project second project this is the syntax second project equals to clone first project and now when we refresh we see that even though we changed this property of the second project it stayed the same in the first project okay so that is basically the difference between just uh, setting another pro another object equal to the first one or actually cloning it and now we have an own honest object okay and thus we see that the clone uh, keyword um, changes from copying something by reference to something by value now you have the pretty much the same behavior as in variables i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and see you next time